Welcome back to Surviving and Thriving, where we share with you the things that we have learned as we have transitioned our family from struggling to survive disease to thriving right smack dab in the midst of it, in the hopes that something that we share with you will help you, enlighten you, and encourage you as you transition your family from struggling to survive disease to thriving right smack dab in the midst of it. Have you ever gone to the grocery store to buy some apple juice, right? And you're in the apple juice section, and there's a lot of different options out there for you. You have one that says apple juice and then it says 100% juice and you look on the back and it has water, pear juice, grape juice, peach juice, and then it has apple juice as one of your ingredients on there somewhere down at the end of the, the list, right? Well, that's not 100% apple juice. And then you look, it's 100% juice, but it's not apple juice, right? And then you look, there's some that says, you know, 100% apple juice and you look on the back and it says, water and then apple juice so water is the main ingredient in there so you're getting some apple juice but you're getting a lot more water than the apple juice and then there's others that you can look at this is hundred percent apple juice and the number one ingredient on there is apple juice and then after that you might have a little bit of water from it in there right well the same thing happens when you're looking at supplementation and you start dealing with herbs you have to look at the ingredients on some of those herbs that you can buy because likewise like the, the apple juice it can happen in the herb world where you get a little bit of the herb but a whole bunch of other stuff right or you can get one or two ingredients and the main one is not the particular herb you're looking for or you can get that herb as the main ingredient with a little bit of other stuff or just purely it's only the herb nothing else mixed in it that's important for you to know why is that important for you to know well, it's important for you to know because when you're taking your herbs or you're taking your supplementation, you're usually taking it for a goal. You're supplementing something, you're deficient in something, you're trying to offset something to balance your body out. There's usually reasons why you're doing it, to build up a certain part in your body, um, your immune system, your organs, your blood. It's, it's usually a reason why you're taking it, right? You're not taking it just to be taking it. And so when you're taking it, you should have a good idea of what it is, the amount it is that you need to, to take. Once again, if you're not familiar with that, use your naturopathic doctors, use your homeopathic doctors to help you to find out the amounts that's proper for you to take, whether you need a therapeutic amount, which is usually like three times, depending on the herb, three times the amount of the regular doses that you find in most of the stores. Most of the herbs will let you know on the back what is the daily doses and what would be the therapeutic doses of that. But you need to know what your body needs and how it's going to handle that. So work with someone who can help you on that. But when you're looking on that, on the back of those, and you're finding the ingredients and finding out how much you need, you need to know how much you're actually getting in your body when you're taking those herbs so that you can hit your targets and so that you can hit your goals. So educate yourself on how much a, a kg is, an mg is, on the different measurements that are used so that you can make sure that you're taking the, the right measurement. When you are looking on the internet or when you are looking in books or when you are talking to people or looking in stores and you're shopping for your herbs, there's some things you need to consider. A lot of these people will tell you this is the best one out there because of the process that we use or this is the best one out there because, you know, our stuff is just better grown than anybody else's. And some will say, well, we don't use these chemicals or there's all these different reasons why people will come up with, the companies will come up with ways, well, why you should buy their product versus someone else's product. In the herb world, the most expensive product is not always the best product. The cheapest product is not always the best product. The mid-range is not always the best product. What you want to make sure is that you research what are the best processes to be used for it and use those, right? Even if you can't get those, get what you can. But I usually look to see what's the best process for it to be used that I might get the purest form, the most potent form of what it is that I need to take. After finding out what is the most purest form, the most potent form, I don't like to spend my money on, say, enzymes. If I'm getting some digestive enzyme and it has bromulin in there and all this other stuff in there, I want to make sure that if it says 3 mgs, I'm getting 3 mgs of pure mixture of those digestive enzymes, not 3, three mgs of the enzymes plus a whole bunch of other stuff. So that can hit my targets. But also with that, I want to make sure that my dollar is going to the most potent thing that can help me so I can take less, less of the pills and that it's more effective for 
my body. So make sure that what you're buying is the most effective, not because they told you it's the most effective, not because they said, oh, this is this is one of the strongest um, enzymes for digestive, you know, your digestive system out there. I have found that to be true in over the years that we've been doing it, that just because they say that, that is not true. You have to do your research and know your measurements. Look at the ingredients, see the amounts that are on there. So be careful with the things that you do and the things that you choose. Now, I said be careful, but I don't necessarily need to say be careful because it's not one of those things where if you get one that's a little less potent, it's gonna hurt you. It's, it's not that kind of thing. I just choose to make my money work the best for me and when I'm trying to attack something I'm trying to attack it with full force so those are things I want you to consider educate yourself on the different measurements make sure you're aware um, how much your body needs and look at those ingredients to make sure that you're getting the right thing the proper thing that's good for your body and all things remember do you until next week bye